If possible, we are going to find the sum for this infinite series. We have 10 minus 2 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.08 and so on. The first question that we have to answer is, what kind of series is this? We have to look for the pattern, right? So let's look at the first number, which is 10, and the next one is negative 2, and then the next one is 0 0.4, and then the next one is negative 0 0.08. How can we get from 10 to negative 2? What kind of operation, what kind of things are we doing for that? So notice that if you take 10 and multiply by negative 1 over 5, we will end up with negative 2. And does that work for the next term? If you take negative 2 and you multiply by negative 1 over 5, you also end up with positive 0 0.4. So notice that the signs are alternating because the first one is positive, the next one is negative, positive, negative, and so on. As long as we multiply by a negative common ratio, that will take care of it, right? And sometimes it may be hard to see the common ratio because maybe sometimes the fraction is like you know, 3 over 5 or um, 4 over 7 or things like that. It's kind of hard to see. In that case, if you kind of just observe or maybe you're suspicious that you suspect that this right here is a geometry series, what you can do is the common ratio. It has to be any term, you pick any number from the list, and then divide it by its previous. This right here will guarantee to work. And let's do it real quick. For example, I want to pick negative 0 0.08. I just want to pick one of the terms to show you. All right, I pick negative 0 0.08. And then I will have to divide it by the previous term, which we will have the positive 0 0.4. And now after you work this out, you can use fraction, you can use decimal whatsoever, you will end up with 1 over 5 for sure. And I'll leave the computation for you. So that's how you find the common ratio. Pick a number and divide it by its previous, and then you should do it with two pairs at least, so that you can see that the common ratio are the same, okay? But then the common ratio here is negative one fifth. So we know that this right here is an infinite geometry series. Do we know if there's uh, the sum for this. We have to look at the common ratio, which in this case is negative one-fifth. That's good because the absolute value of negative one-fifth is less than one. Therefore, this series converges. And we have a formula to add this up. The formula is um, the infinite sum for geometry series. Let me just put it like this to emphasize. It's the infinite geometry sum. It's equal to, I will write this down in words, the first term over 1 minus the common ratio. This is the formula. This works if the absolute value of r is less than 1, which we do have that. And let's go ahead and compute it. The first term right here, we know it's 10 on the list, and then we have the 1. It's always the 1. And then we minus the common ratio. Be careful with this. It's negative 1 over 5. And we'll put that in the parentheses. So that's pretty much a setup, all right? And then let's go ahead and compute this. This is 10 on the top over, I will write this down as 1 plus 1 over 5. And then we have a complex fraction. Let's multiply the top and bottom by 5, the lowest common denominator of the small fraction. And then we see we will have 50 on the top over, I'll distribute this, distribute that. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 5 times 1 fifth is 1. And then just keep continuing, 50 over 6, and then uh, divide by 2 on top and bottom, and therefore we get 25 on the top over 3 on the bottom. This right here will be the infinite sum for this infinite geometry series. That's it. So it converges. The series converges.